sculling. <laughs> you know, there is a tendency in Christianity to avoid certain demonstrative things that go on an uncomfortable side of people's convictions or their comfort zones. And one of them I laugh about is that, you know, I could be somewhat accused of it, even though I live differently than, than what it is, but in, I call it the holy molies, you know, it's like, holy moly? <laughs> and it's like all these, all these people that are like so, I guess you want to say Pentecostal, they're so Pentecostal that they're so, you know, less than conservative, you know, in a lot of ways. And I don't think that they have always the balance, so sometimes they get carried away in ways that are too far out that they don't get a chance to minister to the rest of the body because they're so carried away in their emotions rather than their devotion. And so there is a truth, though, to a lot of what you would normally say, holy roller or holy this or holy cow or holy bully, <laughs> is that there is a certain amount of spiritual warfare that goes on. There's a certain amount of truth to the idea that you know, you need to pray or you need to have the armor of God, but it's not one of being able to stand there and declare and name it, claim it, or say, I say unto you, because frankly, you know, if you're saying unto anything, you know, it's laughing at you because you don't have any authority. You have the capability to go to God and ask Him to rebuke, even as Jesus did. You see, Jesus had all authority, literally, while He was here on earth. He could have, at any point in time, said, I but he didn't. He said he only did those things that his father told him to do. He only did those things that he saw his father doing. He depended upon the Holy Spirit to do those things. So whenever someone gets carried away about how God gave them authority, it's true, God gives you some authority, but he respects the idea that you're going to ask him what to do, not to go out and do it. Because, you see, there's a place in the scripture where Jesus warns about those that go out and do all miraculous things and yet God says I never knew you depart from me workers of iniquity because it's not a question of going out in your own authority that God's given you but a question of are you asking God to do his will and then letting him tell you in each circumstance and every moment what his will is now because of sharing in a wide variety of ministry ways to a wide number of people especially when there's wisdom involved and i don't say that i have much wisdom because you know it's all coming from god so i'm learning just as much as you are but whenever it does that means that i too will be attacked by spiritual entities and by principalities and powers of spiritual wickedness in high places and i'm challenged by those daily you know to will i act you know with god or will i react you know, without God, or will I move according to His Spirit, or will I do something not according to His will? And the challenge in the battleground is always on how inside will I come out and portray it on the outside. And likewise for you, the same challenges exist today. How will you react from your inner being in portraying it to the outer person? that's around you that you're going to affect by your very mood, by your actions, by your attitudes. Just ask your wife, or if you're a wife, ask your husband if he can't sense or see that when he walks in the room, uh-oh, duck and cover. <laughs> because you see, there's a spirit world that goes on, and there's a spiritual aspect to it that does affect our lives. And we need to be a part of that reality so that we know how to change that perspective and change that power that even comes sometimes into a room to influence people. And a lot of it has to do with just simply praise and worship, you know, put on some nice calming praise music, some background music, you know, some relaxing things, you know. And it doesn't always have to be hype, you know. So in some ways don't fail to recognize you have an adversary and this is a world that's working against you and you have your flesh that's working against you and all these things are going to contrive together to trip you up and to cause you to fall but that God is with you and that he will always come through whether you understand it at the moment or not just recognize you need to go to him to ask him to do what it is that he can give you the power to do pray and deny 
How be it this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting, Matthew 17, 21. You must live a life of communion and prayer if you are able to save others. Take my words as a command to you, by prayer and fasting. Pray and deny yourself and you will be used marvelously to save and help others. Whenever we use the word pray, you know, a lot of people think pray is just like, you know, okay, I'm going to pray and I don't expect an answer, or I'm going to pray and I don't expect an answer, or I'm going to pray and I don't expect an answer, I'm going to pray, I'm going to pray, I'm going to do this any other way, you know, but whatever way you choose to pray, the point is, it's meant to be a conversation, <laughs> it's meant to be talking to God, you know, and but getting a response from God, you see, it's not enough to petition because that's part of prayer. It's something about listening. And that's also a part of prayer. Hearing his voice, knowing he's talking to you, letting him take the time to reveal to you what he wants you to do in whatever it is you're praying, asking, doing, seeking, wanting, or desiring. Because we so often go our own way because we pretend like we can't hear what God might say. And the truth is, He has spoken. And He does speak. And you can hear His voice, as well as read it in His Word, or listen to it in a devotion, or study it in church. But daily, daily God is calling us to Himself to help us walk in His way as the world seems to be going a completely opposite direction. And it's easy to get distracted and off track. So try to stay daily, continually, asking him which way to go. Because you may be surprised that your GPS may not have the latest information. So you might want to need to check in and make sure that, you know, you're heading in the right direction. Because you might have taken a wrong turn to the left or to the right. And God wants to set you straight so that you can go directly to him to hear from him what it is for you today. Always double check. Always. And in everything, keep checking. Continually. God doesn't mind. He's wide awake. 